trend now. It's spring almost here. Everybody's tidying up mm -hmm. for spring. Wildlife rehabilitation experts are also now gearing up for the start of their busy season. KYW News Radio's John McDevitt reports on things we can all do or not do to keep animals and their newborns out of harm's way. Signs of spring are popping up all over the place. As we get more active in the outdoors, so do the animals and their offspring. At the Philadelphia Metro Wildlife Center in King of Prussia, experts and volunteers care for all sorts of animals that have been injured, become sick, or separated from their mothers for one reason or another, like these red foxes who turn reddish as they grow older. Recently, the staff rehabbed a great horned owl that got snarled in a soccer net on the Parkwood Youth Organization field in Northeast Philadelphia. The bird was freed by a Philadelphia Animal Care and Control team earlier this month and cared for at the Wildlife Center for 10 days until strong enough to be released into the wild. Michelle Wellard is the nonprofit's assistant director. It's becoming a really common thing. We're getting a lot of calls about it in recent. It's always great horned owls for some reason. Wellard asks that soccer nets be taken down if possible and not in use. And she says there are simple things we can do to keep animals safe. When well, you're doing yard work this spring, look out for nests in bushes, like for bird nests up top or for bunny nests below. And when you're weed whacking, be on the lookout for turtles. Experts say if you encounter a baby animal like a fawn or bunnies, they may not be orphan. It's best to leave them alone. Their moms leave them alone most of the day because the theory is her size and her body odor would attract predators and counterintuitively the babies are safer away from their mom. If you run across a baby bird that has fallen from its nest, it's probably just learning how to fly. You can pick them up and put them right back in and mom is not going to reject them. It's an old wives tale that if you touch a baby bird, his mom will reject it. She just wants her baby back. But Wellard says if it's obvious that an animal is in need of help right away, contact an animal control or wildlife rehab organization. John McDevitt, KYW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Oh, it's so sweet. It's spring, Kate. Almost.